Today we will be studying the coronal sections of the cerebral hemisphere to see the relations of the different parts of the lateral ventricle. Now this what we see here is a specimen of the cerebral hemisphere. Now when we take sections in this orientation these are called as coronal sections. Now what we see here is the corpus callosum. This is the anterior part, this is the posterior part. So this is the rostrum, genu, body and splenium of corpus callosum. And deep to it here what we see the cavity which is seen here is the lateral ventricle. Lateral ventricle has a body, an anterior horn, a posterior horn and an inferior horn. In order to see relations of all these four parts, we need to take coronal sections. And at what level do we take those sections? The first section taken just behind the genu of the corpus callosum will give us a picture of the relations of the anterior horn. Section taken at the level of the mammillary bodies, these here are the mammillary bodies. Section at the level of mammillary bodies will give us relations of the body as well as the inferior horn. And a section taken just in front of the splenium will give us relations of the posterior horn. So now let us see the first section which is a section taken just behind the genu of the corpus callosum. Now this is the first coronal section where we see a triangular cavity and that is the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle. For orientation this is the superolateral surface. This is the medial surface and this is the inferior surface or the orbital part of the inferior surface. So what we are seeing here superior, inferior, medial and lateral. So anterior horn is triangular in section having a medial wall, a roof, a floor and an anterior wall. Anterior wall is formed by genu of the corpus callosum which is seen here. This is the corpus callosum and this is the genu or the bend. So genu forms the anterior wall. Medial wall is formed by septum pellucidum above and some part of phonics below. Roof is formed by the genu of corpus callosum. And the floor is formed by one large bulge which is formed by the head of the caudate nucleus. So these are the relations of the anterior horn. Now we will see the next section at the level of mammillary bodies to see the relations of the body of the lateral ventricle and of the inferior horn. Again the same orientation superior, inferior, medial and lateral. This cavity rectangular is the body of the lateral ventricle having roof, floor and medial wall. Roof is formed by the body of the corpus callosum. Medial wall is formed by septum pellucidum above and the phonix below. Floor is formed by six structures. Lateral most is a small rounded elevation that is the body of the caudate nucleus. Then comes a larger bulge at the medial aspect which is the thalamus. Between these two is a groove that is the thalamocaudate or the caudothalamic groove. And in this groove lie two structures the stria terminalis and the thalamostriate vein. What we see here minutely is the opening of the thalamostriate vein. Then we have the choroid fissure through which the choroid plexus what we see here if you can see clearly this is the choroid plexus entering the lateral ventricle through this choroid fissure. So choroid plexus and medial most is some part of the phonics. So floor formed by six structures body of caudate nucleus Chordothalamic groove showing the stria terminalis and thalamostriate vein, thalamus, 
choroid fissure with the choroid plexus and the phonix so these are relations of the body then we go on to see relations of the inferior horn inferior horn is a compressed structure showing a roof and a floor roof is related medially to two structures stria terminalis and the tail of the caudate nucleus and laterally it is related to the tapetal fibers of the corpus callosum and more outwards or more laterally is the optic radiations floor is related to two bulges a bulge on the medial aspect is the hippocampus or the hippocampal gyrus whereas laterally we see another bulge formed by the indentation of the collateral sulcus this here is the collateral sulcus and this bulge is called as the collateral eminence so floor related to hippocampal gyrus and collateral eminence and roof related to medially stria terminalis and tail of caudate nucleus tapetum and more outer to that is the optic radiation and this here is the last section showing us the triangular large cavity of the posterior horn now again same orientation superior inferior medial and lateral now this cavity also is a large compressed cavity having a roof and a lateral wall and a floor and medial wall roof is formed by the tapetal fibers of the corpus callosum and out of that is the optic radiations floor is formed again by two bulges one bulge near the medial side is the forceps major bulb or elevation formed by fibers of the corpus callosum which come from the splenium and go towards the occipital pole so forceps major a bulge seen on the medial side and little lateral to it this bulge is formed because of indentation of the calcarine sulcus and that is what is called as the calcar avis so two bulges seen in the floor the forceps major also called as the bulb of the posterior horn and calcar avis formed by the calcarine sulcus so these were all the relations of the lateral ventricle thank you